Welcome back. This week, I just want to show you some photos. And these are photos that I've taken over the past eight or nine years in different countries and different seasons of different subject matters, but they all have one thing in common. And so I'm going to show just a little slideshow. And my hope for today is that you just can look only at the photos on the screen, no other distractions, and see if you can guess what these photos actually do have in common. And there's no gotcha. I mean, I shot them all. I ran each one of them through Lightroom or Photoshop or whatever, but there is one common tie between all of the photos. So take a minute, have a coffee, Mr. Pib, whatever you do, and I'll be right here. All right, did you figure it out? So all of those photos you just saw were shot at 35 millimeters. That's my favorite lens. I told you in that first video that I was gonna make another video and explain what my favorite focal length is, and it just seemed like it would be more powerful to show you while I talk about that. So here are my favorite lenses. All these different lenses are different sizes, different prices, different makers, different apertures. Doesn't really matter to me. I'm just concerned about having something that doesn't zoom, that limits me to this one window, and that is small, lightweight, and does the job. And there's no real magic to 35 millimeters or any focal length. There's people who shoot amazing work and they only own a 24 millimeter or an ultra wide zoom or a one to 400. They just own one lens. But the thing that causes that magic in each one of those cases is just consistency. So here's why that focal length is the best for me. And it's a pretty quick description, but hopefully that helps illustrate that a lot of times just making the decision is more important than what you choose. So for me, 35 was really neutral enough that I could learn to create the feeling of a photograph and not rely on a characteristic of a particular lens or something else driving the look. So it's a compromise, but out of all the scenarios that I find myself shooting in, I can usually make 35 work. And that's really the biggest distinction here. I can make this tool work. And a lot of the time, what I'm shooting doesn't actually call for 35 millimeters exactly. After a while, you just kind of stop worrying about what you wish you had and just get back to creating. And like I said in the first video, if I can cover a lot of focal lengths while I'm out shooting, I usually end up making a bunch of images that just look like one another. So while consistency isn't a bad thing, repetition can be. So when I'm only bringing my 35, I'm continually struggling and being forced to flex that creative muscle and to think, what element am I trying to capture in this image? Is it a feeling or a color or a place? If you're trying to get better at communicating what your art is, which I think is what we should be doing as artists, then struggle's your best buddy. So while carrying more allows us to turn every problem into the same solution, which feels safe and good, it doesn't actually make us any better. Relying on less forces us to become more capable. So we're making the decision to focus on our ability to be creative, and we're putting stock in the fact that we can learn to become even more creative than we are now just from consistency and hard work. So we're effectively putting ourselves on the chopping block and saying, I'm not just accountable for the success, I am also accountable for the failure. And that kind of pressure really helps us grow. So if I go out and don't get anything good, it's my fault. It's not the fact that I forgot that 16 to 400 at home, I just, it's me, you know? The magic is that a limitation can be turned against itself. And so that thing that was seemingly there to hold you back becomes the path that allows you to grow in ways that you never, never thought, thought you could. You could. Woo! That's it. Okay, I hope this video has been helpful for you. And so, like I said, I love the 35 millimeter focal length. If someone took that away from me and handed me a telly or an ultra wide or whatever, I'd be fine. I just want to take photos. Once again, thank you for watching. Thanks for spending your time with me. If I missed something, if you want me to talk about something else, you can 
leave a comment, email me. I really don't care. If I can help you in some way, just let me know.